Illinois Institute of Technology was born different. In 1890, when education was denied to the underrepresented in society, community leader Frank Gonzalez delivered his million-dollar sermon, casting a vision for a new kind of university that would provide technological education to people of different backgrounds. The challenge was met with Philip Danforth Armour's donation, and Illinois Tech began its journey to educate and to ignite the power of difference to make a difference. Whether from Chicago, Dublin, Sudan, or Seoul, the collective power of our students' backgrounds has always come together to make a difference. Here, with the dedication of faculty and staff, sparks of innovation grow from ideas that could change the world into breakthroughs that will change the world. From our alumni like Marty Cooper, inventing the cell phone in 1973, to today, where Rohit Prasad has brought Amazon Alexa to life. We have been creating new technologies that have forged human connection. We attract innovators because we are innovators. Pioneers like Phyllis Lambert, who founded the internationally renowned Canadian Center for Architecture, and Chicago Kent College of Law graduate Karen Klein, who has combined her legal and technology expertise to take companies like Orbitz and Kayak Public. Alumnus Ed Kaplan revolutionized barcode technology and forever changed the pace of our world. And Victor Sow's company, Linksys, gave us the freedom of Wi-Fi connectivity. Together, we have given rise to skyscrapers, made vehicles meant for Mars, and are finding new ways to power the planet in our quest to take humankind to new heights and to explore new frontiers. From changing the world through technology to changing the trajectories of our students and their families, we at Illinois Tech are dedicated to building the future that we want to see. We see a future with more possibilities, more opportunities, and more differences being brought together than ever before, where education is reimagined to break down the barriers of industry and institution and classroom and practical experience. Our future is calling us, just as it did over 130 years ago with the Million Dollar Sermon. And now is our time to respond to that calling. This is our time to power the difference.